Last month, the Commerce Department announced the U.S. economy posted its fastest growth rate since 2014. President Donald Trump called the news amazing and added that he thinks growth will only accelerate under his economic policies. But others aren't so sure the president is on the mark. Tonight, opposing perspectives on this issue from Professors Gary LaFort from American International College and Gerald Epstein of the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Well, I realize that that 4.1 is better than it's been for about four years, but I, I'm reminded of the story about economists. They know the price of everything, and, but they don't know the value of anything. <laughs> so uh, it's just a number, and what really matters is whether this kind of economic growth is uh, helping the broad segments of society, and of course, uh, it's much too early to see whether uh, it's going to do that. Yeah, and we'll dig a little deeper into that latter point in just a moment, but I want to give Professor Lafort uh, your reaction when you heard the Commerce Department news. Well, I think it's a, a positive sign. Uh, when you look at economic growth, you've got to look at it a number of factors, just not annual economic growth GDP. You have to look at inflation. You have to look at unemployment. Uh, the, um, the, uh, the quarterly uh, annual GDP was 4.1%, which is good. Uh, but so also was uh, uh, the unemployment rate, which was about 3.9%. And then you also have inflation, which is under uh, 3% right now, and the normal rate of inflation is 3%. At the same time, consumer spending is up, uh, business uh, investments is up, and so is government uh, spending. So from a purely macroeconomic perspective, I think those are a lot of positive uh, indicators that go beyond just that 4.1 percent. There's some reporting that's come out following President Trump's um, announcement, which we'll get into the finer points of in a moment, that there needed to be more made of the fact that there were short-term things that affected this 4.1 percent. Uh, some asserted that if President Trump's ta short-term tax cuts weren't there, or sort of a recent uh, rush to the market to, regarding soybeans, we wouldn't have seen that 4.1. We would have seen something more along the lines of 2.7 percent. What do you think? I guess my initial resp response is, is that's good news uh, because really the economic situation of a, co of a country at any, at any one time is really based on the monetary and fiscal policies uh, that a government takes uh, to improve the economic situation by the mere fact that there was a tax cut instead of the GD annual GDP for that quarter being 2.4, 2.5, it was 4.1 percent, which is good. So I see that as good uh, fiscal uh, monetary management on the part of the administration. But given those two short-term factors, do you expect to see something more along the lines of a 2.7 percent the next time around? Well, you know, we can't make too much of a one-quarter blip. Uh, first of all, 4.1 percent is a good number, but uh, uh, during the Obama years we had four or five quarters when it was higher than that. Um, yes, the short-term factors are very important. We really need to keep a focus, I think, uh, on the long term. And the long term is what's happening to the basic standard of living of most uh, Americans, what's happening to wage growth, uh, which has been um, pretty stable. It's flat when you take in inflation, right? When you take into account inflation, it hasn't been much uh, above inflation or been pretty flat, as you said. Um, and uh, you have to look at what's happening to uh, infrastructure investment. You have to look at what's happening to private investment. I think. Uh, the people who are touting the big tax uh, uh, decrease, which you were talking about, were saying that the, the, it would lead to more investment in the productive economy over the long term. But there really isn't any sign of that yet. It might be too early, but we don't really see that happening. Corporate profits are way up, uh, but it hasn't yet led to uh, much productive investment. What do you think about Professor Epstein's point regarding tax cuts and that investment? Well, I mean, certainly um, those off hopefully feed into uh, a strong economic uh, economy when you have a tax cut. Well, let's say in terms of businesses, you reduce the corporate tax from 35% uh, to 21%, uh, uh, to which is currently is, you would expect uh, in the foreseeable future. And it doesn't happen overnight to see uh, more capital investment, the more hiring of people, and uh, at the same time, the increasing of, uh, you know, of salaries and, and wages across, across the board. I want to look at a few uh, specific comments that the president made following the Commerce Department's announcement. Um, and this is one of the things he said, we're on track to hit the highest annual average growth rate in over 13 years. Do you think that's true? 
I don't think that's true. I don't think we know what we're on track to, to do. Uh, again, the growth rate overall depends on these longer-term factors like productive investment um, and uh, job uh, income growth for workers so they can spend without having to borrow. A lot of the spending increases we've seen have been associated with a huge increase in consumer debt. And uh, unless incomes go up to match that consumer debt, then we could have problems with, with households getting into financial trouble. So I, I don't think uh, that there's much evidence yet uh, that we're going to see a long sustained growth, especially given the problems from the trade war that uh, President Trump has, has initiated. Uh, there's a lot of uncertainty there about uh, what's going to happen if China keeps c uh, increasing tariffs, if Trump responds by increasing tariffs. And I think this is a real negative uh, sign that could uh, impinge on long-term economic growth. Professor LaFort, to the President's point about highest growth in thir over 13 years, what do you think? Well, I think we can't lose sight of the fact that uh, President Trump is a businessman. And uh, so he has a strong economic uh, background. If you know anything about uh, economists, they can tend to be very optimistic, sometimes too opt optimistic. I think you have to look at, for example, last year, uh, the overall growth was 2.2%. Uh, the first quarter of this uh, fiscal year was 2.2%, uh, is 4.1% in the second quarter. The latest uh, estimates coming out of the, the Federal Reserve System is that the economic growth in 2018 will probably average around 2.6 to 2.8 percent. And that's really good growth because a normal growth, uh, rate of growth for a country is generally around 2.5 and 3 percent. And when you look at the growth over the last 10 years, you know, because of the recession, that growth has, you know, except for certain, certain uh, quarters, has been relatively in the 1, 2 percent range. Something else the president pointed out was that he thinks the U.S. economy will double in size in more than 10 years faster than it would have under either President Bush or President Obama. Is that too much sort of crystal ball analysis for either of you two? Well, I, again, I, I think we're reading, he's trying to read way too much into one quarter's growth. And also, the size of the economy isn't really the issue. The issue is, how are people doing in this economy? Um, how, what's happening to people's wages? What's happening to the education for their children? What's happening to infrastructure, the roads and the, the schools and the health care system? And all of these things uh, are being uh, cut by uh, government. Um, you know, we had this huge tax cut, which was uh, what you referred to at the beginning. Um, and in response to that, the Republicans in Congress are now calling for massive cuts in education sp spending, health care spending, um, all these things that really directly contribute to, to people's standard of living. So let's not focus too much on these numbers, 2.6, 2.3, 4.1. What really matters is what's happening to people's standard of living. Do you see, as Professor Epstein does, a direct correlation between the tax cuts and these other cuts that now Congress wants to make? Um, I guess not. I, I guess to get back to the question that you asked me, you know, is uh, Trump being too optimistic? And I think what people have got to realize is that all countries, just like businesses, go through a business cycle. Uh, we had a recession back in 2007. We've had a very slow economic recovery. Uh, I think we started uh, to uh, see significant economic growth in 2017, 2018. Hopefully, it'll grow, uh, spill over into 2019. But I think we're going to reach that peak point as far as the business cycle goes. And probably starting in 2020, we're going to see a downturn. Now, the determination of that downturn as to how long it's going to be is really going to be predicated on the uh, monetary and fiscal policies that the Trump administration takes.